Hey guys, it's Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware grilling expert, and I'm hanging out in Grill Central today at my local Ace Hardware. We've got such a fantastic recipe in store for you today. We are firing up the Weber Performer Kettle. It is time to show you how to rock an amazing turkey. But I'll tell you what, we've got that B&B charcoal briquettes going today. We're gonna to, uh, accent it with a little bit of post oak as well. As you can see, we've got our trusty ace bucket. The turkey is already in the brine, so it is time for us to get cooking. Hey, don't forget, make sure you click on that eye because this video today is 100% shoppable. You can click that eye, find all of these amazing products at your local Ace Hardware. Let's get cooking. As we get set up here, one of the cool things you're gonna notice is we've done something interesting with our performer kettle. We have our charcoal basket set up on the side, but we actually turned the cooking grate upside down so that these doors flipped open and now we're holding them open with the basket. The cool thing about this, this is my chef's tip. I'm now able to add charcoal much easier, but then when it comes time to add a piece of, or two of post oak, really makes it easy and I still have just the perfect amount of room for the turkey in the middle and now I'm cooking beautiful and indirect. So next, let's go ahead and get that charcoal fired up and we are set to cook. Step number one of lighting this fire is to go ahead and pick a couple fire starters and you can use wax cubes, you can use tumbleweeds. I'm gonna go ahead and get these tumbleweeds going, get them lit. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pour or put the um, chimney over the top. Then we're gonna fill this up nice and full with our B&B briquettes. I wanna make sure I have enough briquettes in there to really sustain this entire cook. So we'll go ahead and fill that up. We are all set and ready to go. Now, I'm gonna let this get red hot. I want red hot coals all the way up to the top. All right, that charcoal is nice and hot. You can see we've got a really good uh, blend of red hot and we also have some unburnt as well. So we'll go ahead and get that poured in here very, very carefully into those ash baskets like that. Then we'll go ahead and get the other side done as well. And the great part, like I said before, is you guys, we now have these ash baskets wide open, allowing us to really do a great job of adding some wood. And then, as you can see by the way we uh, lit that charcoal, we've also got some unburnt charcoal at the bottom that will allow us to sustain this really well. So we'll go ahead now, get that grill grate brushed off. We'll get this guy shut and we're gonna start adjusting that temp right into that 350 degree range. Then, time to add the bird. As you can see, those coals have done a really nice job of getting everything all set and ready to go. I'm gonna get that bird in there. I'm gonna go now and add the Weber Connect. I'm going in the deepest, thickest part of that turkey breast there to make sure it is all set and ready to go. We'll go ahead and plug this in get this Weber Connect all set and ready to go. And now the cool part is oh, we set this up on our phone. Now I'm gonna let this get back up to 350 degrees, let it get sustained. And then about halfway through, time to add some post oak. Look at this, with minimal effort, I'm getting this to stay right at that 350 degrees. You can see we've already jumped up to a nice 59 degrees. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna slowly add that post oak, now letting it, you can see these have already ashed over, they're starting to get nice and hot, but they do it slowly. So we added that post oak, we're gonna let it go, now we're gonna get that beautiful, slow, even sustained heat. We'll cover this up, we're gonna go ahead and track it now, I'm gonna leave it alone. The beauty of the Weber Connect, I'll see you back here when that temp hits 165 and it's time to pull the turkey. All right, you guys, look at that beautiful, golden, juicy skin. Time to slice into this bad boy and look at that. I will tell you what, I've never been more excited for turkey time than this. That brine gives it such a beautiful color, such a beautiful flavor, and then does a really fantastic job on that skin. Where can you grab some amazing turkey content, even videos, recipes, and more? Hey, don't forget, click on those post notifications. Make sure you subscribe to the Ace Hardware YouTube channel because you definitely don't wanna miss out on this. And then be sure, as always, leave your comments below and let us know what you'd like to see, how we can be more helpful. 
hey, and I almost forgot, all those eyes that pop up, that's what we call the info station. That makes this video 100% shoppable. So you can click that, find all the gear, gadgets, and grills we've used in today's video. I'll tell you what, I am super excited because I love turkey. I could eat turkey every single event because it is so, so fantastic. Hey, I'm Chef Jason Morris, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. We hope all your turkey adventures go fantastic. It is time now to do what we always do, right? A little bit of that quality control. And I'll tell you what, I I've been eyeing this one because, well, I don't know, like between the turkey skin and the turkey breast, I, I don't know. I'm in heaven. Cheers.